They are side by side through turn three and four. It is time to hunt the front at the Hornet's Nest. The green flag is in the air. We're underway. Hey, what a smooth start from Dotson, but even faster start from Millwood. That didn't take long. No, nope, not at all. He knew exactly what was there and how to take advantage of it. That's the experience of being in that crate race earlier on. Off of turn number four, Cartersville, Georgia's Tyler Millwood will lead lap number one. Hey, what, that was pretty impressive, I will add. And he's staying up there. You'd think maybe he'd come down and maybe try to save that equipment. He's still rocking that top side. Yeah, Kenny Collins up there on the top side. Uh, also Michael Page, Dylan Knowles, all the drivers that are just committed to that top side of the racetrack trying to get by those guys on the bottom. we got a battle for the lead off the of turn two. Tell you what, it shows you just how good Ethan Dodson's car is as they're side by side for the lead. He ran Millwood down on the inside, and he's going to make the pass almost at the strike. No, about a Hoosier tire length difference. Yeah, that Colton Farms Longhorn looking good, but he's got the 31 of Millwood on the outside. Millwood saw the nose, knows he's there. They're going to swap positions in turn three. Millwood will go to the bottom, and Dotson's going to try the outside around. Tell you what, you had to wonder, Dotson's going to have to try the upper side. He's going to have to see at least what's there. Is Ashton Winger about a car length? They'll make it a car length, maybe three off of turn two behind him. We just saw just a moment ago, Ashton Winger climbed the hill down here in three and four with that lap traffic coming. You're going to have to try to clear out that middle, the top side, so you've got somewhere else to go when all these cars are fighting on the bottom. Oh, Putnam. Putnam slow in one and two, and he's come to a stop. Josh Putnam in the 212 is around at the top of turn. Uh, Winger going to try to time it. Oh, this is going to end badly for somebody about right there. And that is what the late great Rick Eshelman would have called a Waffle House. That's and we have built it. The same here. And Millwood going to fire a little early. Oh, we got. We made it. Hey, we made it. Wow. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to. Now we got a race for throw. Oh, oh. Cars in the wall. And Joseph Joyner is around at the top of turn number one. And Millwood's going to fire. We're back to green. See what Winger and Dotson can do with the race leader, Tyler Millwood. Yeah, that restart was much better all the way around. Winger to the top side. He'll get around Dotson. He'll fight towards Millwood. Battle for the lead off of turn two. Winger's going to go to the inside. Inside, outside. Handling good for the 12. Yeah, Winger thought about it. Thought better of it. It's still early. Millwood, Winger, Dotson, your top three as we complete lap number nine. Yeah, and I tell you what, he is starting to feel that top side. If he can just get to the door panel of Tyler Millwood, he may have something for him. As coming in quickly, Ethan Dotson starting to reel in the top two again. Yeah, that outside in turn one and two, definitely there. He'll have a run this time. He'll hook the right rear on the cushion, try to get the advantage. They are door to door for the race lead. Winger takes the lead in turn three. Air Force Ashton Winger off of turn number two. He's going to have the lead at the strike. New leader, and it's going to be it'll be Ashton Winger over Tyler Millwood. And Ethan Dotson now will go to the top side. He's seen what Winger was able to do. He'll try to make a run down the back straightaway. The top two now separating themselves just a little bit. Now Sam Seawright will put Ethan Dotson into his eyesights, he'll try to take the third spot. Yeah, yeah, Will Harrington in the back of the pack just passed three cars on the outside, went down to the bottom of the racetrack and picked off another one. The 19 car is rolling down the back straightaway. He's moved all the way up to the 10th position. He started 21st. Well, I think he saw that 10 car go to the top side. He's already saw the 212 go out on the hook. So if you're going to make up ground, why not come to a place like this? Oh, and he's got to be careful on the top side of the racetrack as he slips by Kenny College. Wow. Tyler Millwood trying to close in on Ashton Winger. And I tell you what, we've seen a lot of cars come off turn number two on that top side. It gets so narrow, they're in a hurry. And right now, Ashton Winger is trying to hold the fort, but Tyler Millwood rockets down here in turn one and two. Yeah, Millwood, that is, that is exactly what he was doing in the crate race. He knows it's there. He's confident in it. Winger's trying to figure it out, but this time, Winger gets through three and four much better than Millwood does, and he's able to extend the lead. Yeah, he's going to oh, it. Man, all four wheels off the ground, and they are getting after it down here in one and two. And the caution flag has come out. Green flag back in the air. Oh. We're going to bring the field to green. Look out as that Hedgecock is. Wow. Somehow saved it. Here we go. Three way battle for the lead off the turn two. And here comes Will Harrington. Just outside of the top five. Are you kidding me? He is up to six. Going to look to the inside of Page. And they're going to open the door. And here comes Will Harrington up to fourth. Wow. They opened the door. He walked right through it. Said, no, uh, said don't mind if I do. And y'all hang out right here because I'm going to try to go. Oh. But here comes Page. Thought about making it three wide there for a second. As Harrington is there, here comes Kenny Collins on the outside. 
Uh, the race for first and second may not be as good, but this battle on back is uh, truly impressive. For as bad as Harrington's car seemed to be earlier in the night, things seem to be getting better for that 19 right now. Yeah, the backup car has looked impressive there after losing the motor in the primary. He'll look underneath the C right. C right's going to close in on Dotson. Those three cars are running third, fourth, and fifth as Will Harrington, who's got a little piece of uh, the right rear quarter panel running that right rear tire. I tell you, he's wanting Ethan Dotson to kind of push Sam down. That's exactly what he did, and now he slips by one at a time for Will Harrington. He'll look to the inside of Ethan Dotson hunting for the podium. Down the front straightaway, here comes Will Harrington back to the top of the racetrack. Woohoo! He was way up there in turn one, tried to get that run. Harrington's figured it out, but uh, like I said, that right rear's got that fender rub. That right rear quarter panel on it. We'll see if that has any impact on this 19 car. I said it from the beginning. If you want it to be entertained, that 19 car, he will give it to you. He'll take third off a of turn two. Yeah, Ashton Winger has no idea how exciting it is for the third position right now as he has extended a 1.2 second lead here on lap 28. I'll tell you what, Ashton's having some trouble getting around Brendan Smith here. He should loop around him off a of turn two, maybe. I was going to say, he spent the last two laps trying to get around the 17 SS of Brendan Smith. He'll finally do that, and that's going to help him extend that lead over Tyler Millwood, this time by at the stripe. That lead for winger, 2.029. Yeah, the sand and the hourglass starting to run out. It will be the two-to-go sign this time by. Winger takes it off into turn number one. He just got to hit his marks. He'll do so through turn one and two, no pressure. Half a straightaway lead for Air Force Ashton Winger, who works in the turn three and four, and off of turn number four. And one car stop at the top of the racetrack. Checkered flag is out for Nolan. Your winner here tonight at the Talladega Short Track is Ashton Winger. That's needless to say, you had a really good race car, my friend. Yeah, I really wasn't that confident going into uh, going into it there. I wasn't. My times were way off in the heat race, and I didn't feel great, but. That's how tricky this place is, man. Adam and his staff do a really good job, and uh, it's a big weekend. I know there's a lot of people here. Uh, it's awesome to see all the people here. Like I said, uh, I know there's a bunch of asphalt guys over here watching, so it's, uh, you know, it's cool to uh, for them guys to come over and see what we do. And it's, you know, like I said, my car was pretty good. I just, uh, I, was, I was pretty maneuverable. I, I'd bottom out every now and then. Like the, that first restart whenever I was leading there, man, I thought I was going to wipe out the field. I bottomed out real bad getting into one and pushed all the way across. But uh, luckily I was able to get to some brown there leaving too. I was able to shoot back forward, so. Like I said, my car is pretty good. Uh, just, you know, it really comes down to just all the awesome people I've got. Uh, I need to thank uh, my dad, um, Zach. Uh, my mom is here, my girlfriend, Michaela. Just uh, want to say back home, my cousin Will, he comes with me a lot. He, uh, he had surgery today. Uh, thanks to Jeff Matthews, Gene Farmer, Jimmy Waldrop, RVS, Kurz, uh, Jeff Matthews Motorsports, uh, Angry Elephant Tattoos and Piercings, Johnny Dome Plumbing, Kaiser Manufacturing, Integra Shocks, uh, Rocket Chassis. Uh, all them guys helped me out a lot. Rocket One helps me out a ton. Uh, Andy Durham Race Engines. Uh, Super K Express, FK Rod Ends, Wilds Drive Shafts, uh, I always forget somebody, CSR Aluminum Fabrication, uh, Boyd Belt, I never mentioned Boyd Belt, man, that guy helps me out a ton, Stealth Carburetors, uh, there's just a lot of people, Hoosier Racing Tire, Renegade Race Fuels, uh, A Plus Collision Center, uh, Rap Tech, just everybody on this thing just uh, helps out a ton. We talked in Livonia Victory Lane there, we talked after the struggles early on the season, fast race car, but just seemed like something always happened. At Livonia, we talked about how we, you just felt like maybe you're putting it all together, this team, really fast. That win maybe propelling the second half of the season, and it looks like that's what's happening. Yeah, I mean, I really feel like we've been fast all year. I mean, you know, it's I've been in a lot of different stuff, controversies, and uh, you know, I've been leading races and had flats. I've, you know, broke some motors, and just some silly things happened that I've never had happen to me. So, um, you know, it, it's part of it, and, uh, you know, we'll ride the wave, whether it's high or low, and uh, keep on going, and, you know, congrats to Tyler and uh, Will, you know, Tyler made me work for that one there, man. He, uh, I know he was really fast. I watched him in the crate race. He, he had a pretty good line going. I thought he was going to commit to that top, but it was so rough down there. I, I, I did the same thing he did whenever I got the lead. I just kind of settled in that middle there. I just uh, got lucky whenever I was able to go out there when I did. And, you know, it worked out, like I said. So, uh, you know, we'll hard to celebrate tonight when we got a race again tomorrow. So I hope to see all these awesome people again out here tomorrow. And, uh, oh, yeah, roll tide. All right, you'll be the odds on favorite in dirt draft tomorrow. Ashton, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It might be the first time you got some booze here tonight with a roll tide. All right. Second place finisher, Tyler, you heard Ashton say uh, you made him work for it. Uh, you led early, but come home second. Uh, yeah, we uh, had a pretty good car there. Uh, Ashton, uh, I think he went a little harder on tires than us. So uh, we, we had a good car, not taking anything from him. He drove by me, so uh, we got to get a little better, and uh, hopefully we can get a little better tomorrow. But uh, 
I got to thank everybody on this thing. First off, uh, my wife Sam, my son Rush at home, my, my uh, mom and dad on the back straightaway over there, Lance and Junior, Machine Construction, uh, Millwood Plumbing, Competition Race Equipment, uh, everybody on this thing, VP Fuels, Durham Race Engines, uh, Penske, everybody that helps me. Uh, hopefully we can get one spot better in each tomorrow and it will be, be a good weekend for us. Tyler, in the crate race there, you were the guy that uh, was on the outside. For our second race in a row at Rome, you showed the whole field, the top side was there, and then here it seemed like once you started making some way on the top, everybody just kind of followed suit. Uh, How did you know that was it the crate race that you knew that top side was pretty good? Oh uh, Yeah, I mean, it was definitely good for me there in the crate race. It's just it's very, very treacherous right there. So, like, if you if you hit it right, you, you look like a hero. If you don't, you end up in the fence over there. So, uh we was on send mode all night trying to get us a W, but uh, see if we can't do better tomorrow. All right, a pair of second places uh, tonight pulling double duty. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you, sir. I'm wore out. I'm going to go over here and sit down for a minute. <laughs> all right, Tyler, congratulations there. And uh, how about this, uh, this individual right here? We talked earlier. You said, I need a really good night at my worst racetrack. You start 21st, and uh, there for a time period there in the middle of the race, I think you had the fastest race car on the racetrack. Come home third, Will. Yeah, it was uh, start of the night off. Uh, bad. We uh, broke a motor qualifying, so that just put us way behind, and just uh, had to put our head down and just go to work. And uh, we were pretty good in that B. And at the heat, we were pretty good, and in the B, we were really good too. Just uh, I knew I could probably pound that top, but I didn't really want to abuse my car that early in the night. But uh, I kind of seen we getting close toward the end there, that last restart. So uh, I had to kind of. Uh, I watched Millwood in that crate race, and he was giving her hell. So I, uh, I figured I had to could uh, go up there and just. See if I could get me some cars, and it worked out. And I got the third. I didn't want to keep punching anymore. I just uh, try to finish. I seen the, you know, the other two had a rough night there. So uh, maybe a pretty good points night for us. So uh, just try to have a good night tomorrow or next week and see if we can get back in this thing.